Alright guys, um, thought I'd do another video of a gun that I built. This is a uh, 22, um, but it's, it's not a 22 long rifle, it's actually a pellet gun in 22 caliber. So um, I'm just going to uh, go through it with you, uh, tell a little bit about it, and um, show you how I made it. Um, I'll show you real quick what this gun started off looking like. It's very similar to this. It is. It was originally a paintball gun. Um, this is a different color obviously but the uh, um, type of gun is exactly the same. So I'll, I'll be able to take this one apart, lay it out for you, and um, I'll take this one completely apart too, show you uh, what I changed on it and um, uh, just how I altered a few things. So anyway the optic is uh, Leapers UTG. Um, it is a 4x16x44. By by um, came with flip up caps. Um, it is a mil dot uh, scope. Um. Alright so here's just a quick shot of what the reticle looks like. Um, nice crisp uh, crosshairs which I kind of like them uh, paper thin so I believe it's nine dots um, from the center in all directions. So Very nice scope. I've been very happy with it. Uh, works great. So um, it's not a scope review, so <laughs> I'm not going to get into that a whole lot, but I'm going to go ahead and pop it off for now just to make it a little bit easier to go through the gun. Um, so this is this would be considered, um, I believe, a PCP uh, rifle, which stands for um, pre-charged pneumatic um, rifle. So just like a paintball gun, um, I'm using a 9 ounce uh, CO2 tank for my shots. It is bolt action and it is unloaded. So um, uh, the stock is just a piece of pine, uh, I believe. Um, it was originally uh, just a 2x6 um, that I cut and did some work on. I'll show you how I did that. And um, the barrel is a uh, Crossman uh, 22 caliber air rifle uh, barrel. It is rifled. Um, I, it's a little over 16 inches long. This section of the barrel is the original paintball barrel that I cut short. Um, the pieces just worked out very well. It slid inside uh, pretty well. I, I had to make some um, sleeves to kind of make the difference in uh, outside diameters there. Um, obviously I've cut a notch um, right here uh, to, load the, to load the gun. Put the pellet in there close it. There's some O-rings in there. It's probably going to be hard to see, but that's what seals it so the air is forced to travel through the barrel um, to project the pellet. So uh, Picatinny rail I mounted on top for whatever kind of sight and um, yeah so I'll just take it apart and uh, we'll go through how I built it real quick.
the gun taken entirely apart, every single piece, um, and I'll show you the difference. This is a standard uh, paintball marker. Um, this particular gun that I'm using is the Raptor. Um, this is just a silver Eagle edition, and this is just a standard. They're, they're the exact same gun though. So you can see um, all the guts pulled out. This is how they're laid out inside um, the gun. And you can see this connecting pin uh, ties these two bolts together to where they slide um, at the same time. Uh, I believe, so the way the gun uh, fires is this when it's cocked. This is back with tension by the spring. When it's released, it goes and hits a little uh, valve releasing a burst of air. So um, there is, uh, with the machining of the internals of these, the air is forced to go up through a hole in the bottom of the bolt and out the barrel. So uh, same exact concept with this. Um, only difference is, as you can see, this bolt is a solid section. I cut this one right here and that allows, the only reason I did that is that allows me to make a bolt action so I can, it still um, cocks the gun the same way. I pull it back, which the um, sear pin hooks right here. Uh, but anyway, so I can cock it back, it stays in place and then it allows me to be able to slide this forward and lock it in place. So the gun actually would have been easier um, to build and, and leave it semi-auto. Um, I kind of just prefer bolt action, so, uh, and it was just a very easy, very easy fix there. So um, obviously the barrel um, has to be a little bit different. So. I, I just cut down the barrel, left a channel, um, so it's easy to load a pellet, you set it right in there. And obviously the bolt I did a little bit of work in on. I uh, put a rod right in the center that pushes the pellet into the chamber uh, when it's uh, loaded. So anyways, um, very minimal work here, uh, didn't take real long to do the stock. Um, honestly, it took the majority of the time. Uh, talk about it a little bit. Uh, the hardest part was uh, creating this channel and doing um, the work to it without splitting it out. The walls are fairly thin. Um, still left it pretty strong, but uh, the tool that I used, another cool thing about this project is the only tools required um, or a hacksaw just to cut the bolt, uh, a drill, obviously there's two, it's gonna, yeah, you can see them barely, two little set pins um, that I uh, tapped and threaded to hold uh, the actual barrel inside the sleeve. So other than that, the barrel just threads into the gun just like a paintball gun. Um, I, so I guess it would be a free float barrel. I'm not sure uh, exactly what all the requirements for a free float barrel are, but I think that would be one. Um, but anyways, so the way I made the channel in this uh, stock is I bought, dump these out here, uh, an end mill bit off Amazon. So I just put it in a drill press and clamped the stock down and just kept running it down, chewing this out all along through here. So it took forever um, to do that. But uh, the final uh, process turned out pretty well. You can see right there it ac accidentally jumped out and kind of marred the stock up a little bit there. But um, then sanded it down, kind of put some... Uh, just kind of styled it up a little bit, cheek rest. Um, I made it uh, uh, kind of custom for me, just it's right hand only. Uh, the height worked out perfect for the scope on it. Um, so good, good eye relief distance. Um, so anyway, um, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, pellets I shoot are Premier. Um, I believe they're like 14 grain. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video short. So, uh, another video, uh, maybe I'll go do some shooting with it and um, show you how it shoots. It's fairly accurate, uh, shoots pretty well. I'm not real big into air guns. Um, lately, I've been watching Ted's Holdover and he's got me uh, kind of excited to get back into air guns just the science um, uh, behind them and uh, just kind of the challenge uh, that comes with an air gun shooting long range figuring out the pellet trajectory and all that so uh, it's a great gun to shoot it's tons of fun so um, anyway hope you hope that gave you some ideas and uh, thanks for watching